Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can use PowerPoint and a freeware software called OBS, which is available for both Mac and Windows, to record quite an elegant video for uploading for students or colleagues. I'm going to run through this as a demonstration in this tutorial, and in another tutorial I'm going to show you how it was set up and how you could do this at home. So let's just start. You can see on the screen in front of you on the right hand side I have my PowerPoint presentation running in window mode. On the left hand side I have OBS and as part of OBS I have set up a number of scenes including a King's College logo animation, a view of my webcam, the screen capture which is a capture of the PowerPoint screen on the right hand side and a screen capture with an integrated webcam. So I'm going to start just by using my mouse I can click on any one of these five scenes and automatically OBS will run these scenes. So let's just demonstrate what these are. The first scene, the KCL logo, runs a short animation, here it is, and then puts a photograph of me with my email address. The next link is a webcam link and this activates my webcam and there it is up on the screen in front of me. So there's my webcam and I've also integrated a King's College logo up on the screen as well. The screen button goes to my presentation and now you can see my presentation on the right hand side of the screen. I then go to my screen with webcam and then a picture of me, my webcam appears in front of that presentation so I can maybe say a few words at the end of my presentation. And the final button is the blank button and the blank button takes you to a blank screen. So now we've got those five scenes set up, it's actually quite easy to give a presentation. So let's go over to the right hand side of OBS. We've got a start streaming button, a start recording button and three other buttons. Let's ignore them for the moment and just focus on the start recording button. I've got this software set up so when I click on start recording it starts recording everything that is inside this window. So let's go. Let's start recording. So now we're recording, but at the moment it's not recording my microphone, it's just recording a blank screen. So let's start by having a logo. There's the logo appearing, and there's my email address and my name. So let's now go to webcam. Introduce ourselves, hello, I'm going to give you a presentation today. Now let's go straight on to the presentation. The presentation now starts and I can move my mouse over to the right hand side of the screen and I can navigate through my presentation. This is the first slide, this is the second slide and as always I'm going to speak slowly, use builds where possible and keep things simple. At the end of the presentation I could advance onto the blank slide at the end or with my mouse I could clip on the screen with webcam scene, bring myself up, say a few words to the students thank them for the time that they've taken watching my video and then I could return to the blank screen at the end. So by doing that I've actually given an entire presentation using this OBS app and PowerPoint. I can press stop recording at the end. I now have a video. I can open it now. Now this is open in QuickTime Player I can scroll through and see what's been recorded. It starts with a blank page. About six or seven seconds in the KCL logo and my name appears, it then switches to my webcam, the presentation, and finally at the end of the presentation I can say a few words to camera and then switch to a blank screen. And now this video can be uploaded to your share site to share with colleagues or students. As I said in another tutorial I'm going to show you how I set this up and how easy it is to then record these kind of videos at home.